It's Friday and not a moment too soon. That's right, I'm your host, Andrew, and welcome to another stunning episode of Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. If you like news, I've got some good news for you. It's news. First up, revelations that FTX used billions in customers' funds to shore up its teetering trading firm have shaken crypto investors, and as a result, many have pulled their tokens off centralized exchanges. And now, those exchanges are scrambling to improve industry transparency. Their tool of choice is the Proof of Reserves Audit, which combines blockchain data accuracy with the trust of an outside auditor. So far, just some of the exchanges that have announced such audits include Binance, Bitfinex, Bidget, Bybit, Crypto.com, Deribit, Huobi, KuCoin, OKX, and Poloniex. The sudden failure of the FTX exchange was really just the latest and largest in a string of crypto companies that went under as a result of the Terra Luna stablecoin collapse, a new analysis argues. Blockchain analytics firm Nansen found that the FTT tokens that FTX sent over for Alameda was intended to prop up the billion-dollar hole in its balance sheet when the Terra stablecoin failure slammed markets. When it was revealed how much of Alameda's balance sheet was in FTT, spooked customers ran for the exit. With FTT's price collapsing, liquidity dried up and it couldn't meet withdrawal requests. The Securities Commission of the Bahamas said it has seized a huge chunk of bankrupt crypto exchange FTX's funds. It is apparently seeking to take partial, if not total, control of the proceedings from U.S. courts. This has outraged FTX's newly appointed restructuring management team, which accused the Bahamas of violating a U.S. bankruptcy court order, freezing all assets of Sam Bankman-Fried's bankrupt crypto trading empire. It also accused Bankman-Fried of complicity. So crypto really is fleeing centralized exchanges, right? Well, blockchain intelligence firm Chainalysis begs to differ. For the past couple of days, there has been a lot of hand-wringing about the spike in cryptocurrency outflows from centralized exchanges. Where are those funds going when they leave centralized exchanges? Well, mostly to other centralized exchanges, analysis said. As the spike falls back to normal, Bitcoin flowing to decentralized exchanges is more about an increase in trading that follows growing market volatility. And so, the FTX collapse is proving to be more about one firm's malfeasance, not general market factors, apparently. And finally, the crypto industry is waiting for the other shoe to drop as a number of large exchanges have suspended withdrawals of USDC and USDT stablecoins on the Solana blockchain. The synchronized but unexplained actions by top exchanges Binance, OKX, and Bybit have confused even USDC issuer Circle. It revealed this confusion in a tweet that emphasized that all of its stablecoins were 100% backed by reserves. The only recent update to the story is that Binance released its freeze on Solana USDT after several hours. In recent days, Solana has been pounded by its connection to former FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried, with Sol going from $37 to about $13.50 in the span of only two weeks. And in the span of a weekend, I want you all out there to kick back, relax, and soak up some rays. Oh, oh gosh, it's gonna be 40 degrees and snowing on the East Coast. Um, maybe take a rain check then. Hunker down, keep warm, sip that chicken soup, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And what are your weekend plans? Let us know in those comments below, because I read them, and I might just shout out my favorites in a future episode. As long as they're not too weird. Keep it safe for work, please. And someone who always keeps work safe, Alex. Ask Alex in the description below if you have any questions about our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and that metaverse, and that about does it for today and the week. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. See you Monday.